Hello and welcome to a tutorial for Open Computers. Today we want to look at the structure of a computer. Therefore we need the following items and blocks. A case, a monitor and a keyboard. If power was enabled in the config, additionally we need a power converter and a power source. Additionally we need memory, a graphics card and, if programs shall be saved, a hard disk drive. We place now the case, connect it with a monitor and attach on an arbitrary side of the monitor the keyboard. We open the computer with a right click, insert the memory, the graphics card and optionally a hard disk drive to be able to store programs. If power was deactivated in the config, the computer is assembled completely and can be turned on. If the power is not turned off in the config and the computer is started without a power connection, an error message is shown. The last error message can be displayed by using the analyzer on the computer. The analyzer can, in addition to error messages, display useful information like name and address of a component. To connect the computer to a power network, we use the power converter and connector energy source to it. If we turn on the computer now, we see the start screen and the computer accepts input. The energy systems of the following mods are supported. Thermal expansion, buildcraft, universal electricity, industrial craft. If several computer networks shall be connected to one power source, you can use a power distributor. To achieve this, the power distributor is connected to the power converter and the computer networks that are to be powered are connected via cable or directly with the power distributor. To increase the energy capacity of a network, capacitors can be used. Information about the energy status of a network can be retrieved on a computer. You can use the commands computer energy to retrieve the currently stored energy in a network or the command computer.maxenergy to retrieve the maximum amount of energy that can be stored in a network. That sums it up for this time. Thanks for watching. Until next time.